Greetings. This information was compiled for the R IRS Reddit community and anyone interested in how upper income tax avoidance drives school privatization efforts and defunds public education. Lawmakers in several states are enacting or expanding school voucher tax credits, which reimburse individuals and businesses for donations they make to organizations that give out vouchers for free or reduced tuition at private K-12 through schools. Despite voucher tax credits' charitable appearance, they allow wealthy families to opt out of paying for public education and other public services and to redirect their tax dollars to private and religious instruction instead. Equity investment firms and other for-profit operations also seek to invest substantial amounts into school privatization efforts. In short, school privatization supporters have set up state policies that exploit deficiencies in federal tax law for the self-interest of wealthy families to build enthusiasm for privatizing the U.S. public education system. The Republican-driven privatization plan for education is to impose significant tax cuts for corporations and the wealthy upper-income earners, then use declining tax revenue to cut funding for state-funded education services. There are valid concerns that such privatization of school districts would significantly threaten the improvement, accountability, continued development, and financial stability of an already underfunded public education system. According to the Institute on Taxation and Economic Policy, since 2010, state funding for textbooks has declined 45 percent, funding for supplies and materials has dropped 55 percent, and funding for technology in schools has fallen 59 percent. According to the study, most voucher tax credits go to families earning more than $200,000 annually. Long-term studies of voucher programs in Milwaukee too, the oldest school choice slash voucher program in the U.S., Cleveland 3 and 4, and the District of Columbia 5 found no advantage in academic achievement for students attending private schools with vouchers. Students using vouchers to attend private schools were 24 to 50 percent more likely to score below basic in the four tested subjects than comparable students in public schools. Of the 158 private voucher schools reporting more than 30 students, only 18 schools achieved statistically significant, though small, gains in reading and math from 2011 to 2014. Voucher students perform about the same, and often worse, in unaccountable private schools than in public schools. With even less options, students in rural areas are likely to see far fewer benefits from a privatization plan. Special needs students, however, will be the greatest at risk since many privatized institutions make no allowances for developmentally disabled individuals. Opponents to school choice call this a violation of federal law, pointing to the United States Supreme Court's 1954 landmark decision in Brown v. Board of Education which declared that separate educational facilities are inherently unequal. Taxpayers are paying for two school districts, the traditional public school district and the network of private and religious charter schools that receive diverted district and state funds. School choice proponents claim that the mere existence of competition from voucher-receiving private schools generates improvement in nearby public schools. No valid data exists to support this claim. Billionaires are leading a coordinated, nationwide movement to apply business principles to education and using tax loopholes and dark money to make it happen.